everyone, Firebro999 here, and welcome back to Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2. Today we're going to be tackling the arcade mode with Garfield. Fan of lasagna, not a fan of Mondays. Would be a real shame if I uploaded this on Monday. Anyway, we're on that unstoppable force difficulty, meaning I only got one stock. Let's see if I am worthy enough to call myself a Garfield main. I actually secondaried him in the previous game, but yeah. Something interesting to note about Garfield, though, is I know I mentioned in the Rocco video that the DLC characters are the DLC characters that at least return for this game are some of the most unchanged characters on the roster compared to everyone else. It's a little bit of a similar case with the Garfield, but I would say compared to Rocco and Jenny, Garfield is probably the one that has changed the most. So for one, he cannot place Pookie down anymore and use it as some kind of bait trap. Pookie is now his light forward error. So yeah, no more tricky Pookie setups or whatever, but it's still cool that Pookie's back in some form. And new to Garfield is the little lasagna meter at the bottom, you can see it next to Garfield. As you attack with Garfield, specifically with food based attacks, you will see bowls of, I think that is supposed to be like popcorn or something, I don't know. But when you attack with food, um, those bowls will fall down. And what it will do is when Garfield collects those food items, <sighs> dang it, I wanna freaking demonstrate it, but they're being so difficult. But yeah, as the meter fills up, uh, you can activate a special move, which is the down B, which will send Garfield into a food rush, a sugar rush, actually. Um, it'll make Garfield go faster and stronger and the more the meter is filled up when you activate food rush the longer it will last sugar rush man i can't talk i'm, I'm fumbling the explanations on garfield's video of all things you one would assume i would know what i'm talking about Finish. there we go but yeah um that is a very good tool for garfield makes him a lot more offensive Not offensive in the bad way, but offensive as a playstyle, I mean. But yeah, a lot of his old moves are back. Some of them have been tweaked quite a bit. Uh, his neutral special is probably the best new thing about him, though. It is a shine, which has Garfield's old school design on it. And it's hilarious because some guy in a recent uh, Hungrybox tournament for this game wave shined and had like a super cool kill at the end. It was hilarious. You could probably find it right away. Just go on Hungrybox's channel and see the set with uh, Cake Assault and Lily Bun. That was a really good set to watch though, for both players, of course. Lily Bun, of course, is a really good player and I got a lot of respect for her, but I, I don't know. The clip was just funny though. And it was a really good match, by the way. Like, I gotta get in one of these tournaments uh, one of these days, but I gotta practice a lot because I'm not really all that good, you know? Oh, God. Okay, let me throw this, actually. I got the explosive pie. I gotta get a nice kill off of it with something, at least. That almost backfired on me. Well, that worked. Finish. All right, pop the slime balloons. I remember doing this with Garfield before and his stage has some balloons that go berserk all over the place. Yep, look at those. Three, two, one, ready. Okay. Oh my God. Um, thank you. Oh my god, I almost SD'd. That's crazy. That was horrible. Oh my god, I gotta, I gotta do better, man. Been a while since we did an L2 gray fight. Oh, 
Oh god. Oh, uh, I I gotta get used to the shine being his neutral special. I don't I don't know how I feel about that. I'm so used to like Fox and Falco having it as like the down special. I gotta learn how to do shine com combos and stuff. I'm not that goaded. Oh, this is probably a bad idea. I burst out of it. <laughs> that was like the only way I could survive that. Okay. Can rely on the back there at least. Kaiju battle, of course. We all knew this was coming. Let me just keep using up tilt so I can get some uh, food and get my meter up fast. It's crazy how many of those can drop. I think up to five drop at once. I shine that man like three times, bro. Okay. I see you, Reptar. Okay. Finish. Nice. <laughs> Two Nigel fights. Which one will I pick? Uh, let's go with the regular one. I'm pretty sure Garfield was in that other Nigel match too, as an opponent. The cozy sweater match. I gotta learn how to wave shine, bro. It's so difficult in this game. Maybe I gotta find like a better controller setup for that. Oh dear. Let's go. Finish. I wonder why Top Hat Garfield is not a costume, though. Like, that's like a huge missed opportunity. Bro, what if Nermal was a boss? That would have been crazy. Oh dear, I thought I was a goner. What's with these guys keeping me away from food and sleep? A lot of people are divided on the super, by the way, but I think it's kind of funny. Nice. You know, especially because, you know, food is Garfield's thing, and it was his dream. This man really puts you in his dreams during his super. Just straight up has the food in his dream kick you, bro. That's kind of wild. Royal Guard, why not? Gerald has some fire costumes, by the way. Nigel, 
Oh, I was up to something. Hold on. Yeah, I gotta learn how to do that fast. It's gonna be difficult with my current layout. I use that typical Smash Bros layout where uh, I have A for light attacks, B for specials, uh, Y for strongs, and um, X for jump. My right shoulder is grab. I think what would help is if maybe I set... Huh, I wonder. I know a lot of people put like jump on one of the shoulder buttons. I'm thinking about that. It's gonna take some adjusting though. I don't know if I'm gonna do that or not. I do wanna do cool stuff though. And it's a lot easier on layouts where uh, jump is on shoulder. Aw, oh, dang it, I missed one. Finish. All right, did what we could. 900's pretty good. I will fight myself, why not? Oh, the sound, the soundtrack goes so hard, bro. I think I prefer the original Jellyfish Field theme, but like this Sweet Dreams remix is like better than the original in my opinion. You're done. Get out of here, boy. Finish. All right, here we go. Let's not die on Vlad stage, hopefully. I couldn't be more sweet. Oh god. Something about Garfield fighting Vlad Plasmius is just hilarious. Wait, I have a shine. I can reflect that shit. Can I? Oh, it doesn't deflect it at him, though. That's the one bad thing. He's calling in the clone quite a bit. Oh, okay, I reflected one. That's a shocker. Okay, that didn't work. Keeping me away from food and sleep. Come on, get him. Nice. Nice. You You're done. Oh, God. You're done. Get out of here. Woo, that was a success. I didn't get any cool kills, but hey. We didn't lose a life with Garfield, so I guess that's all that matters in the end. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of Nick All-Star Brawl 2. If you enjoyed, remember to drop a like and put in the comments below what else you want to see. And subscribe, of course, because we've got more content coming for you. I'm Firebro909 signing off, hoping you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and stay tuned for more Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2. And the crowd goes wild. Some people have exciting lives, and you thought I was out of shape.